When I first got the iControls, I had some problems in installing it and using it with Ableton Live. To save you time and a headache, I'm going to go over what this problem is and how you might fix it. First thing you should do is go to the Icon website and download and install the newest drivers. After you've installed the drivers and software, open up the iMap controls. Then make sure you pick the iControls. And here you'll see all the different faders and knobs and their different settings. Now make sure you have the control mode down here set to Mackey controls. After you've set that, you send the data to the device. And we're now ready to open Ableton Live. Now here within Ableton Live is the trick in using this device. Instead of just selecting the USB device, you actually have to turn on the control surface for the eye controls. To do this, you first choose the control surface of Mackie controls. Then make the input and output to icon eye controls. Now the device should run as expected and have smooth fading and knob action. Without this control surface set, you might notice a jittering with the eye controls. Now that you have it set correctly with the Mackie controls, it should work perfect. 